Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Say hello to Winston. Oh my God, he's so cute. Today, I am going to show you how to get ready in 10 minutes using only 10 products. If I'm not really in the mood to go full glam, but I do want to have something on my face, this is what I usually do. I did time this prior to filming and it actually takes me less than 10 minutes to do. This is going to be longer because I am going to stop and tell you about all of the products that I'm going to be using, but you can definitely get this done under 10 minutes. Let's go ahead and get started. The first product that I'm going to use is this is mac studio fix perfecting stick color nw15 i am going to put this under my eyes and in my t-zone area just to do a little color correcting and i look crazy and we are just going to blend it out this is perfect for when you're in a rush or you just want to look like you have a little something on your face, but you don't want full glam. I know I look crazy right now, but I promise it will come together. The second product I'm going to use, this is by IT Cosmetics. I love this so much. The color I'm using is medium tan. It's a CC cream and it has SPF 50. So what I'm gonna do first is just squirt it on my hand like so. And then this is just like a little flat brush. I'm taking this and I'm doing all of the areas where I did not put the concealer. So on my cheeks, up on my forehead, sides of my nose, and on my eyes. Now I'm gonna make sure that there is no product on this brush that I just used, and I'm just gonna blend everything out. Now I'm just going over my whole face just to make sure the color is all blended. Next up, I'm gonna contour my face. This is Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit color light to medium. Get my little contour brush and I'm gonna mix these two colors like so. I'm just gonna go right under my cheekbone. Just to add some definition to my face. Then I'm gonna repeat the same thing on the other side. <laughs> and then I'm taking those same two colors and I'm gonna go along my hairline right here. And then, same two colors, I'm just gonna go underneath just to create a little shadow so it just looks more defined. Next, I'm gonna take this middle color and this is going to contour my nose. I'm just going to lightly brush from under my eyebrow along the side of my nose right here. Make the nose a little more defined. Next, I'm gonna be using banana powder. This is Black Radiance True Complexion Loose Setting Powder. I lost the top to this, and that's why I have to hold it like this because it's gonna go everywhere. What I'm gonna do is just dab some banana powder like so, and I'm just gonna place it under my eyes. There's a loose hair. Where are you going, dude? And I'm going all the way over past my eye, up into my hairline, because I want everything to look pulled up. We're gonna leave all of this extra residue on there for now. I'm doing the same thing with my forehead. I'm also gonna do it around the creases of my mouth. And then if you want to get a sharper jawline you're gonna get that banana banana powder you're just gonna go right underneath your jaw and you're just gonna do a little line like this just makes it a little sharper again we're gonna blend everything later same for this side now i look like a clown the next thing that I'm going to do are my eyebrows. I'm gonna leave my face alone for a minute because 
I want my banana powder to bake a little bit. Basically, that just means that it's going to be sitting on your face for a minute so it can absorb. So just letting it set. I'm gonna move away from my face and onto my eyebrows. This is NYX Micro Brow Pencil. I use color black. Anastasia has a micro pencil as well. Honestly, it is the exact same as this. It's like a perfect dupe and this is significantly cheaper. I used to buy that, then I found this and I was like, why am I spending so much money? I'm just gonna brush my eyebrows up. And then we are going to line the bottom of my brow. And my eyebrows are a little short on the outside, so I just bring them out a tiny bit further. Once you've lined the bottom, I'm gonna take my brow pencil and I'm gonna just place it at the bottom and I'm gonna flick up, flick up, flick up all the way through my brow so it'll create hair-like strokes. Because if you just start coloring it in, you're gonna look like you have blocks on your face. And I see that a lot and it drives me nuts. I'm really looking for a natural look. So the hair stroke technique is what I'm gonna be doing. Put my pencil on the bottom, flick up. Again, you wanna be really light with your hand and not press too hard because you want it to look natural. And you don't wanna look like you have cartoon eyebrows. One eyebrow done. I'm just gonna line underneath the brow very lightly and then place my pencil on the bottom line and just flick up throughout the entire brow. Right. Next, I am going to take a big brush with no makeup on it and I'm simply just going to brush lightly brush the extra product of banana powder off of my face very light if you have any sections of your face at this point that are not blended well like right now there's kind of a line between my banana powder and my dark color contour so I'm just gonna take a brush like this and blend it a little bit there we go. The sixth product that I'm going to use is a bronzer. This is MAC Give Me Sun Mineralized Skin Finish. I am just going to grab some bronzer and I'm just gonna go right on top of where I contoured. It just makes your contour look softer. So everywhere that I contoured, I'm going to add my bronzer. The seventh product that I'm going to use is blush. This is Real Real Her. I don't even I don't even know what brand this is. I got this in a BoxyCharm box like a long time ago but it ended up being one of my favorite blushes and I use it all the time. It's R-E-A-L-H-E-R. And I'm going to put all of the products that I'm using in the description so you can find everything. I'm gonna be using this one called Unstoppable and I'm just gonna be going right on my cheeks right here. Just to add a little color. The eighth product I'm going to use is highlighter master chrome by face studio this color is molten gold i'm going to take my highlighter and i'm just gonna go right on the very top of my cheekbones on both sides just to give a little glow next i'm gonna take that highlighter and i'm just gonna barely flick a little bit over my eyebrow I'm gonna take that same highlighter and I'm gonna go down the bridge of my nose and then I'm gonna do a little more on the tip. And then I'm gonna apply some highlighter to my Cupid's bow. So just right on the top of my lip. 
I really like to glow. I don't think there's such thing as too much highlighter, but that's just me. So if you wanna do a little extra, you go for it. Product number eight, mascara. This is another Maybelline product, the Rocket Volume Express. Just a little side note, don't ever pump your mascara because it dries it out. What you're gonna wanna do is like a little swivel and just scrape the sides and twist it. If you wanna go back and do a second layer, go for it, sis. Just on the top though. You don't want your bottom lashes to be heavier than your top lashes. The 10th and final product I'm going to be using is a lip pencil. This is by ColourPop. The color is BFF. This is a phenomenal color. It's very natural. It is beautiful. I'm going to first line my lips and then I'm going to color them in from the outside going in. And I'm gonna take my finger to fill in the insides. This will give a little bit of an ombre look to them and it just comes out really nice. I must say it turned out pretty well. Okay, that is a wrap. I hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it. If you did, please hit the thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel and I will see you next week.